Wrestling Federation Championship! Hey guys, hello gorgeous. Taking another look at the beautiful custom wrestling figure workshop championship belts for your classic Hasbro WWF figures or the new Mattel Woo! retro style figures. Wanted to do a follow-up video on these belts because my WWF Hasbro vintage collection has grown quite a bit since the last video. Just had a couple of warrior figures pretty much last time. And the main reason why I've been collecting these guys is these belts. I never wanted to collect uh, those figures before because the only belt I believe that was made in the original line was the Winged Eagle belt and it only came with the ring, which I didn't have. And it always went for way too much on eBay. Uh, and it was really worn out, beat up, not in perfect condition. So from Wrestling Figure Workshop, it's almost exactly the same design. I actually prefer this design. And I love these little baggies that they come in. And now they're also available in a bunch of different colors. So the uh, purple uh, and yellow intercontinental title belts, which were exclusive to the Ultimate Woya, these are sold out. They were just recently available in Wrestling Figure Workshop and they went fast and apparently they might not be available for a very long time, if ever. But in the world of wrestling, never say never. It's all about creative and cash as good old JR says. So maybe if there's a high enough demand, these will be available again. But I'm going to show you what these look like on the figures that they, well, they go on any figures, but the figures they're mainly intended for. And then there are still the white Intercontinental title, which is something that Shawn Michaels popularized back in the day. And then the white Winged Eagle belt, and they all gleam beautifully. So, and there are also the tag team titles. So I didn't actually have any tag team champions during the first video to showcase these on, but I do this time. And then there's the black IC title. And I've got a couple of Intercontinental Champions to feature this on this time too. So let's take a look at what these look like on the figures. Here comes the ax and here comes the smasher. Yo, stop that ax! We're standing up here with these tag team belts and that means we're number one. So we're just gonna pop this championship belt right on the smash here. And they function just like the original Hasbro championship belt and the Jax belts. There are these little teeth, these bumps that will go through this loop here. And so when you feed it through, it catches and it prevents it from pulling out once you pull it through a couple times. See how it's got a little bit of a little bit of a hold there. And so because they're so adjustable, they will fit any of your figures depending on their waist size. And you can also get a really nice uh, fit. You don't want them hanging too low like that. You want it to go up a little bit, a little bit on the belly. And just look at that shine. Isn't that incredible? That is beautiful. This is a big reason why I love repros and new, um, new repro parts that are inspired by original parts. So I don't think they ever had the world titles for the original Hasbro line. And this is exactly what they should have looked like. They should have come with one of the maybe um, different rings. King of the Ring or something like that. You even have the little championship panels and the teeny tiny WWF logo on there. Check that out, WWF. That's not, that's something you're not ever going to see released uh, by Mattel or any other company that ever gets the WWE license. That logo is gone for good. And so it's cool that you can get uh, these belts from Wrestling Figure Workshop to feature that original logo like it was back in the day. So the demolition, just not complete without the world tag team titles around their waists. Three time champions and at one time, the longest reigning tag team champions of all time. We hold the gold belt. That means we're in your way. 
And since I did the last video, I was able to hunt down the madness. Yeah! The Macho Man, Randy Savage, Intercontinental Champion of the World. You could put the Intercontinental title around his waist. He is one of the greatest Intercontinental Champions of all time. But the thing I noticed about Macho with the Intercontinental title, with the world title, he did wear it around his waist quite a bit. But the Intercontinental title, he kind of cradled it. Yeah! He never... Well, very rarely he wore it. Most of the time he just held it, cradled it. And so with your uh, Randy Savage, if you want him to be the inter intercontinental champion, you can just kind of uh, position his arms to hold the title. Yeah. But in case you're curious what he looks like wearing it, same as the other belts, you just wrap it around. Man in my position cannot afford to look ridiculous. No, because I am the champion. Oh, yeah, I am. Made of such a nice, durable material. There's really no... Uh, no fear of this tearing. It's durable. It's got a lot of give, but it's durable, too. So, yeah. Honky Tonk Man, greatest of all time? I don't think so. Uh-uh! In my opinion, it's macho the belt looks fantastic around his waist and when i say the reason i've started collecting these figures is because of these belts this is exactly why they are just incomplete without the gold bumper yeah so as good as macho looks with the intercontinental title longtime fans Remember that in 1988, yeah, upgrade. So you can actually loop the belt if you don't want the figure to wear the belt. You can loop it around like this. And the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. He would just pop it onto his shoulder. Yeah, look at it, uh huh. <laughs> and uh, just display it that way. So. That's my preferred way of displaying the belt with Randy Savage. It also shows off the stars. Yeah! Elizabeth, hold the belt! Because I just want to concentrate on getting my championship hands on you, Million Dollar Man. But if you do want to take a look and see what the world title looks like around his waist, there's the Macho Man with the Winged Eagle World Championship belt. Yeah! World Wrestling Federation Champion! Yeah, I am! And if you have one of his longtime rivals, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, which is one of the newer figures by Mattel, it's a retro action style figure made to look like the originals. And I got this Flair because I think he looks way better than the original Flair. Some of the new retro figures, if, uh, if they've already made an original guy, usually the original, I, I prefer this original Randy over the new retro Randy. But I think this flare looks fantastic. I've got the big gold belt around his waist, which is uh, an old Jax belt. But if you want to have Nature Boy be WWF champion, you can pop open a new Winged Eagle belt. And with a tear in his eye. With a tear! In my eye! This is the greatest moment of his life. Pop the belt on. Cinch it up. Man, that looks fantastic. Any belt looks great around Ric Flair's waist. The ten pounds of gold, the big gold belt, or the winged eagle. The guy just knows how to wear gold. <laughs> But that's not it for the Winged Eagle design of the belts. There's two more I want to show you. And for the two color variations on the Winged Eagle belt, we've got the Ultimate Warrior and Sergeant Slaughter. It is the white Winged Eagle belt and the Lavender belt. So let's open up the white Winged Eagle. That was one of the things I really loved about the Ultimate Warrior's reign as world champion that he had the audacity 
to change the color of the belt. And back in the day, you could do that. You didn't have to clear. Well, I guess you were supposed to clear things with management, but his style was always just to do what he wanted to do and then ask for forgiveness later. Probably didn't even ask for forgiveness, but the white winged eagle title belt looks fantastic on this. Um, I guess it's the third version of the warrior. I always felt like this was the world title, world champion ultimate warrior. And it feels like the exact same material as the black belts and it's just extra cool as a big ultimate warrior fan to be able to put these customized title belts on him so there's the white winged eagle belt which i think looks fantastic on this particular figure it goes so nicely with the white boots the white face paint the gold goes with the knee pads and the armbands. Just, it goes so nicely. But, another belt that goes nicely with this figure is the lavender belt. Now this particular belt, I don't think was worn by Warrior very much. In fact, I think the only appearance this belt ever made around the Warrior's waist was at the Royal Rumble. Uh, 1991, when he lost it to Sergeant Slaughter. So we take this one off and it comes off just as easy as it comes on. And the, the purple coloration on this one is a little lighter than the color in the actual figure. And I thought I was going to use this belt with this particular figure, purple belt on a purple figure, but sometimes it's just too much purple. So when, that, when I ended up trying this, I felt like it's it's a nice look, but I just like the white better for this particular figure. And the purple on this figure, it just feels like it's a lot of purple. Um, but the story behind this belt is that, <laughs> uh, unconfirmed, but it seems as though um, Warrior obviously knew he was dropping the belt. They were going with Sarge. and having the, the title come to Sergeant Slaughter. And so, as the story goes, the Ultimate Warrior got this lavender belt made so that Sergeant Slaughter, uh, when he became World Wrestling Federation Champion, the Sarge, uh, the tough guy, would have to wear a lavender belt just as a rib, as a joke on the Sarge. And that sounds to me like exactly like something that, that the Ultimate Warrior would do to Sergeant Slaughter. Like, uh, oh, you guess what? You're becoming World Wrestling Federation Champion. That's the good news. It's not really bad news. I mean, I love the look of the lavender belt. And I think most people will agree, it's not exactly the color that you would picture Sergeant Slaughter picking for his first world title in the WWF. So... Um, I like it for its uh, historical accuracy, that it's the actual color that the Sarge won that night at the Royal Rumble. And I also like it just for the fact that it was the Warrior having some fun with Sarge. And a look at a couple more Intercontinental Champions. I was a huge Roddy Piper fan. And I always remembered a promo he did when he was doing a house show circuit with Mr. Perfect. He cut this beautifully simple promo where he goes intercontinental title i could use one of those and that always stuck with me like yeah hot rod could use one of those he was never really a title guy he didn't need one he was like um jake the snake or um hacksaw jim duggan he didn't need a belt to to be over to stay over but i tell you it was so awesome when he did finally win that intercontinental title and I loved how much respect he gave that title. That he didn't just throw it around or drag it like an extra piece of annoying luggage. He really showed that belt a lot of respect. He cut a whole bunch of promos with the belt where he's seated uh, and kind of leaning on the belt and talking about this is how I feed my family. He made the belt special, made it matter, made it clear that it was... It was um, for his family's livelihood. And that's why 
I, I need to display my Roddy Piper with an Intercontinental title because it was a really beautiful um, tribute to him. I love that they decided to put the belt on him for a little bit. It's also awesome that it got him probably his best match ever, his WrestleMania match with Bret the Hitman Hart, where he drops the title to Bret. Just everything about Roddy Piper's Intercontinental title reign was gold. Beautiful final chapter to Roddy Piper's first, or was that second, I don't know, uh, WWF run. And so really glad to have an Intercontinental title to put around Hot Rod's waist. Only in America, Wales, can a skinny 15 year old kid come on down and become champion. And they call him the Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Erich. Another one of my favorite wrestlers. And I was so excited to finally see him in 1990 when he showed up in WWF and then won the Intercontinental title from Mr. Perfect in shocking fashion. And so um, got myself a Texas Tornado figure with the Intercontinental title around his waist as well. Just a great way to display two of my favorite wrestlers. Texas Tornado, Intercontinental Champion! And if you have the original Hasbro Shawn Michaels or Marty Jannetty, the blue edition, Marty wore this belt briefly, uh, or any of the newer retro action figures like Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, this is the belt that they use now for the Intercontinental title. It has a white strap, and so I think that would look fantastic on Shinsuke's waist. Or you can also play Fantasy Booker and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting the Junkyard Dog retro action figure. But until I do, uh, you know, maybe the JYD should have been Intercontinental Champion. Maybe he should have won the belt from uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine at WrestleMania 1. So these belts will actually fit even on the larger Mattel figures, like the Elite figures. And I think that looks awesome on the old junkyard dog. That's awesome. And you can grab them cakes. And this is the one that I was most excited for. I love the yellow intercontinental title. Beautiful. I just loved how this belt looked with the yellow strap. The only guy to ever wear it was the Ultimate Warrior. And he wore it leading up to WrestleMania 6 when he challenged Hulk Hogan for title for title become the ultimate champion so I always wished that Hasbro had made this belt in yellow I'm so glad that wrestling figure workshop did a run of these I'm really hoping that they will someday do some more of these because this belt is so awesome I would love to get the uh, retro action ultimate warrior and stick one of these yellow intercontinental title belts on him as well look how beautiful that looks that just looks so right. The black Intercontinental title looks great on Warrior, but the yellow one is just perfect. So that's the custom WWF Hasbro style championship belts from Wrestling Figure Workshop. No vintage Hasbro WWF collection is complete without these. Look how beautiful these figures look with a little bit of hardware around the waist, some championship titles. Makes a huge difference. Nice shiny gold on the black or the different color options as well. And they're also great additions to any of your new retro style Mattel figures as well. Looking forward to getting more of these vintage Hasbro WWF figures like Mr. Perfect and Bret Hart. And I'll definitely be adding more wrestling figure workshop belts around their waists when I do. Big thanks to Wrestling Figure Workshop for your fine craftsmanship and fantastic customer service. And thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to share a classic WWF memory, scroll down and go to town. And to join the tribe, hit subscribe and tap that chime to be notified each time a new video drops. Till next time, good brothers and sisters. Feel the power in the madness, yeah, of Nerd Mistake. The ultimate maniac. Dig it, yeah. The ultimate sacrifice for the purpose of combat. One last.